Today we discuss one important topics which is related to major theory. One important theorem, Levesque dominated convergence theorem. Okay. That means how why we use this theorem. We first Levesque monotone convergence theorem discuss and then discuss Fatao Lama which is related to monotone convergence theorem then obviously we also discuss one important theorem Levesque dominated convergence theorem this is important for us because all functions are not monotone Con convergence theorem is satisfied so we start we talk about one new, new functions which is dominated by another another function c then this sequence of function converge to one functions and obviously then we get that means certain result this is important or fruitful for us now if we discuss Lebesgue dominated theorem first we discuss uh, some property okay first we write here let x a mu be a measurable space okay x a mu b a major space b a major space and e belongs to this algebra f e to r rosa b measurable functions b a measurable function now define define a plus equal to define a plus x equal to maximum of fx zero greater than equal to zero and a minus x equal to minimum of minus not minimum here maximum of okay maximum of minus fx zero this one obviously greater than equal to zero but define this two okay this two a plus and a minus okay next we also write here then what happened then first if a plus a minus are measurable okay. are measurable since a b measurable function so a a plus a minus b measurable okay next second property is that second property is that mod a equal to a plus plus a minus okay and third is that a equal to a plus difference a minus okay then what we get then the Lebesgue integral of a over e then the Lebesgue integral of a over e with respect to mu with respect mu okay with respect to mu is denoted and defined by is denoted and defined by integration of e f t mu equal to integration of e a plus t mu difference integration of e a minus t okay then what happened again we write this one where it is that portion and going to further discussion of that okay integration of e 
mod of a 50 mu equal to integration of e a plus t mu plus integration of e a minus t mu okay now we write again for another definition here we write some definition here okay the function if the function if it's said to be Lebesgue integrable over if it's said to be Lebesgue integrable over e with respect to mu with respect to mu if if integration of e mod a of t mu less than plus infinity okay right here some observation okay <coughs> yeah integration of e mod a of t mu less than integration of e a plus t mu plus integration of e a minus t mu less than plus infinity okay so what we get here we get from here that integration of e a plus t mu less than plus infinity and integration of e f minus t mu less than plus infinity. okay now we erase that portion and going to discuss on some proposition okay again another observation we write here also known about it another observation this one is familiar to all limit intending to infinity integration f n t mu equal to integration of e here e okay e f d mu equal to what integration of e limit f n t mu okay for for if n less than equal to if n plus one for all n belongs to n and if n tending to f okay now we erase that portion and going to further discussion of some proposition then we're going to leave a dominated convergence theorem Okay. We write this proposition now with some proposition in this way let x this algebra mu be a major space oh some bastard create their bastardness okay why they create this one I don't know but obviously they create obstacle around my path okay let x a mu be a major space be a major space and a belongs to this script a 
now if g such that e to r goes a b integral functions b integral function then first one a plus g will leave a integral we leave it integral with integration of e a plus g d mu equal to integration of e f d mu plus integration of e g d mu okay second second we write for alpha belongs to r alpha if we leave it integral okay with this one integration of e alpha if d mu equal to alpha e if d mu okay this one on important property also satisfies okay then then what happened yeah have we write in this way lx equal to all leave integral functions all leave integral functions okay from what from a vector space okay this equal to what this equal to if integration of e norm of if d mu less than plus infinity okay now we we'll also discuss this one that means Slavic dominated convergence theorem okay we we'll also known this property some proposition some definition okay now we we'll discuss this one this leave a dominated convergence theorem we erase that portion and we write the statement of this theorem okay let x this mu be a measurable space be a measurable space and e belongs to this algebra and c e to zero plus infinity b a livec v a livec integral functions livec integral function okay that means some another function g is livec integral function 
and let f in be a sequence of measurable functions be a sequence of measurable function which is which is minus infinity plus infinity allowed such that norm of f n less than equal to g and f n converts to f almost everywhere on e then what happened then limit n tending to infinity e f n t mu equal to integration of e f t mu okay we'll also discuss this Lebesgue dominated convergence theorem okay just this one some f converges to almost everywhere on e and f n less than equal to c okay then obviously this property satisfies limit n tending to infinity integration of f n d mu equal to integration of f d mu okay so all are same and c obviously from e to that means from measurable set e to uh, it's plus zero plus infinity that means positive value okay positive and zero also contain j then positive value function and obviously f in um, all minus infinity to plus infinity value functions okay now we discuss the proof of this Lebesgue dominated convergence theorem. We write here proof. Okay. Since f n converts to f almost everywhere in E, almost everywhere in E. It follows that it follows that a b measurable a b measurable note that norm of f n less than equal to z this implies that minus g less than equal to f n less than equal to g almost everywhere in e. since f n plus g greater than equal to zero almost everywhere in E then by Fatao Lama okay by Fatao Lama we get Well, here is that portion and going to further discussion of that. Integration of E limit n p of of n tending to infinity here f n plus c d mu 
okay less than equal to limit infimum of n tending to infinity integration of e fn plus c t okay that means fn plus c obviously satisfies this fatal lemma and we write this one this implies that what a plus c d mu integration of e okay less than equal to limit infimum of n tending to infinity integration of fn d mu and plus nt e integration of g d mu okay then this implies integration of e f d mu plus integration of e g d mu less than equal to limit infimum of n tending to infinity here e f n d mu plus integration of e g d mu okay This implies that integration of f d mu less than equal to limit infimum of n tending to infinity integration of e f n d mu. Now g difference f n greater than zero almost everywhere on e then integration of e limit in minimum of n tending to infinity g difference fn d mu less than equal to limit infimum of n tending to infinity integration of e g difference fn d mu understand not a problem at all first we talk about fn plus g then we talk about g difference fn okay and obviously here by use fatal lemma okay then we write here by fatal lemma by fatal lemma okay then what we get here where is that portion and going to further discussion of that then this one is equal to okay here this implies that integration of e g difference f d mu less than equal to integration of e g d mu different limit supremum of n tending to infinity here e f n d mu okay this implies that integration of e f d mu less than equal to limit supremum of n tending to infinity integration of e f n d mu this implies that limit supremum of n tending to infinity integration of e f n d mu 
less than equal to integration of e f t mu we mark as 2 okay not a problem at all so first we get one step and second we get another step from another inequality that means to fn what fn less than equal to g gives to inequality fn plus g greater than equal to zero almost everywhere only and obviously mm, g when minus f mm, greater than equal to zero okay or g minus fn greater than equal to zero or greater than zero okay almost everywhere on e here fn plus g greater than the 0 greater than equal to 0 and here g minus fn greater than 0 or greater than equal to 0 okay then what we get we get this one then from 1 and 2 from 1 and 2 we get limit supremum of n tending to plus infinity integration of e f n d mu less than equal to integration of e f d mu less than equal to limit infimum of n tending to plus infinity integration of e f n d mu okay now as limit n tending to infinity supremum of e f n d mu equal to limit infimum of n tending to infinity e f n d mu equal to e integration of f d mu okay so what we get we get here limit n tending to infinity integration of e f n d mu equal to integration of e f d mu okay this one this one is the required result okay we get so we also prove this Lebesgue dominated convergence theorem one of the important theorem in major theory also prove now okay just too easily we done it we just mod of fn less than equal to g then we get two inequality fn plus g greater than equal to zero and obviously g minus fn greater than equal to zero then by this inequality we get integration e f d mu less than equal to limit infimum of n tending to infinity integration of e f n d mu marked as one and next we write limit n tending to plus infinity supremum of e f n d mu less than equal to integration of e f d mu okay so from one and two we get this one limit n tending to plus infinity integration of f n d mu equal to integration of e f d mu okay so we also today we also discuss levick um, dominated convergence theorem which plays important role in major theory and obviously one important that means um, important discussion about here because we um, what we taught here that means limit of integration of some function equal to integration of limit of some functions in major theory then this function satisfies those properties if that means sequence of functions satisfies those property just dominated by some function some positive valued function or um, g and obviously uh, this function is converged to f almost everywhere on some measurable set e okay so in this way we do this 
also defined so many um, mod of f f and f plus m minus and going to be discussion about that and also some proposition this proposition satisfies that um, this one be a vector space lx all live integrable function satisfies the vector space be a vector space so today we we'll stop here